Hi, everybody, and welcome back to In the Kitchen with your favorite chef, me, Renee. Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere. And caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. Well, things seem to be calming down. The numbers are dropping, but still remember to wear your mask when you go into the stores, when you are around a lot of people, and just be careful, okay? Other parts of the United States, the numbers are rising. Think close to us is as close as Delaware. So you still have to be very careful. Remember to wash your hands when you come in. When you're around people, just keep your distance and continue to stay safe. Now. Today, I have a really good show for you. We are going to take fish and I have a red snapper and I'm going to put it in a pouch and cook it. I have some lemon wedges that I'm gonna stick on the inside, some salt, some pepper, and on top, I'm gonna lay some shrimp. That's gonna be the good part. The second part of the show, I'm gonna stuff some tomatoes. I already sauteed some mushroom, sweet peppers, the little small one, the red, the yellow, I think the other one is orange color with some, some garlic in it, a little salt, a little pepper. That's gonna go inside of these tomatoes in which you'll see, I'm gonna cut the top off, cut the insides out. And also inside the tomato, I have, I made some cauliflower rice and I have my cheese sitting right there that I munch on. Mm -hmm. Then the last part, we are going to have what is called a sangria. The sangria is really good. It's going to be, I'm going to use, where is it? Ah, here it is. The strawberry balsamic vinegar. Yes vinegar, balsamic vinegar from Patricia and Paul from New Jersey. They are one of my new sponsors. I did a test on it and let me tell you, I thought it was going to be a problem with the olive oil taste in it, etc., etc. But no, it doesn't because it has peaches in it, it has strawberries in it, and it even has some brandy. Now I'm going to put X amount of brandy, but you can put as much as you want, depending on who you are, or you don't have to put any brandy, but that's what this recipe calls for. So let's get started. All right. So as you see, I have my fish here. I want to first, while I'm here, let's move the fish over a little bit, is to cut up my lemon wedges. Actually, I'm going to cut it like this here. Now you could do wedges, that's left up to you. There's no rule, say, that you have to have um, wedges. Let me get, throw my stuff in. These has a little seed, so I'm just going to pull some out. I understand there's some lemons that don't have any seeds in it, never heard of that. So I guess they are working on it, but I don't mind the seeds, taking the seeds out, you know? All right, here we go. So we got the seeds out. I'm gonna cut the lemons like this, just in half, just so it would fit inside of the fish. Now, the first part I wanna do is start seasoning it and I'm going to take some of the fish seasoning. Now we're going to season from the inside and work our way out, okay? Let me turn it around like this so you can see. Nice and clean. I went to the fish market and I had them clean it for me but leave the head on. Yes, I know some of you say, oh, I can't eat no fish, you're looking at the head. It's okay. You'll be just fine. <laughs> Here we go, get this a good seasoning inside. Get some on this side, now you see that? Perfect, okay, that's for that. All right, now I wanna season 
the I want to do a little pepper okay so here's my little pepper mill I have one that goes with the salt but that one stopped working but luckily the pepper otherwise I have to get one of those little turners there. no that's not a lot of pepper we like a good spice to it okay next I'll put my lemon wedges in like this. Okay. There we go. All right. Wipe my hands. Let's put the lemon in here so I can pretty much organize myself. And how can I organize myself when I don't have my glass of wine? Okay, so let's have some wine. Mmm, this is Domaine Del Rivier, and this is a rosé today. Okay, look at that. Mmm, really good, as Deborah says. Hi, Deborah, how you doing? <laughs> she still didn't get over here and watch me film a show every time I mention her name. You think, oh, let me go, let me go, let me peek in the camera and say hi, everybody. This is to you. Mmm. That is delicious. Okay, now that we, oh, I have a little paper towel just to um, keep the board nice and clean. All right, so now that I've done this, I'm going to add some more seasoning, but when I do this, I wanna be able to have the parchment paper here and season it so just in case any of the seeds and sprinkle out. It's not just going on the cutting board, it's going to be inside the parchment paper. Now I have the parchment paper and underneath it I have aluminum foil, and which I like. Parchment paper works well, but the aluminum foil, when you close it, it's gonna pull it all together nice and tight. Okay, all that steam is gonna be in it and when you open it up, it's gonna be almost like you get a facial. Okay, I have a little trick, and I'm gonna show you this. I found this basket. I saw something on, I think the internet or something like that. There was cooking food actually on the rack inside the oven. I said, wow, isn't that gonna bring some smoke? So I started looking for some baskets that I can put, and I have one is called a crisper basket. Look at this. Here it is. This basket does wonders. Not expensive, not expensive. You can get it, yes, on Amazon, okay? This is really good. If you saw one of my other shows, I had um, a chicken, and I put the chicken in here and set it on top of the, of the uh, bacon, uh, bacon pan, and what happened is it lets the air circulate, and that chicken when it was finished with the season, it tastes like it was came out of rotisserie. This, you need to get one of these. It's a crisper basket, okay? So, we'll put that there because we are definitely gonna need it. Now let me try and organize myself. You know me and, and being organized, sometimes I can be a mess, right? <laughs> Here it is. Now I'm using the extra large aluminum foil that's left up to you. You can use the smaller, this is a big piece of fish. Look at that. Let me do this, take this. Wow, look at this, a beauty, a beauty. Okay, so let's get started. I want to add a little salt. Okay. And a little salt on the inside. Ooh, this is gonna be really nice. Yeah, that's that. Okay, a little pepper. We love pepper. <laughs> okay, inside I'm gonna add just a little garlic, just to give it that flavor. Oh yeah, 
you guys going when you when you try this, you're gonna scream. You're gonna say Renee was right. It is real good. Okay, let's turn it over. Do the same to the other side. I need some pepper, a little salt. There we go. There we go. I'm not using the coarse salt. Um, you have to remember to watch your salt intake and not use too much. Um, I had an experience with a young man one day and he said he liked salt. I said, oh, really? I said, that's good. Um, he said, I hope you have a lot of salt. He put so much salt on the food. I said, I wasn't even gonna taste it because I'm sure I'm going to taste salt, okay? No good. So just be careful with your salt intake. All right, so I have some thyme. I like thyme. A little piece of fresh thyme in here, like so. Yeah. There we go. Let's add a little bit more of garlic on top. I love garlic. Mm, mm, mm. This is gonna be wonderful. Oh, we're not finished yet. Okay. Now what I do, and which I did the last time, I added some shrimp. What did I do with the shrimp? I took the shrimp and I placed it on top of the fish itself. Come on, get here. And what happens, the fish and the shrimp, they all cook the same time. And I did it before as a test because I test everything before I do it here on the show. And let me tell you, it was to die for. Okay. Oh yeah. The, oh, look at that. Imagine when that's done, when you open the aluminum and you get all that freshness coming in, coming out of it. You're gonna be screaming. You're gonna say, oh my goodness, this is so good. All right, now let's move this out the way. And I have from Patrick and Paul olive oil. So as you can see, I have a selection up there. I have all different types. There is a peach. There's, there's several of them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add this chipotle just a little bit. All on top. Oh, look at the color. Look at that. All around. Yeah. This chipotle infused, I mean, you really, you really taste it. This is gonna be good. Yeah, okay. Look at that, look how simple it is to do this. Um, let's do some more lemon wedges on top. Oh my goodness. I am going to go crazy over this. And we'll have a little sip of wine again. I'm right-handed, that's why. Mm. Delicious. And I think I covered everything. All right, so to wrap this, now some people wrap and they cut it in a circle and they twist it, there's all different kind of ways. That's not a, a rule that you have to wrap it like this. What I do, not for me, I go like this and I turn it like this and turn this. I take this, I turn it up and turn this up. If this was face down, there's a lot of juices, then it might run out. Then I take my aluminum foil and I wrap it like I'm wrapping a Christmas present. No, I'm just joking. Go like this, I take the ends, fold them up. Bam, and you have it, look at that. So when you open it, you cut into it, and you open all the, oh, you're gonna go crazy. Good to every day was right. Oh, okay. The basket. I'm gonna take the fish and just set it in here. Now, if you don't have the basket, and this is gonna sit directly on the shelf, 
If you put it on the shelf, be careful because I made a mistake one time and I took this and I put it on the shelf and I pushed it and it caused the hole and get you. Should I tell you what happened? It was smoking up a storm. Put it in the basket, just like this, in the oven, 350 degrees, 360 degrees for about 30 minutes. And let me tell you, when you open it, the fish is gonna just fall right off the bone. You'll be able to take that bone and peel it out. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it in my oven. And when we come back, we are going to make the, what? Stuffed tomatoes, all right? So stay with me after this commercial break. I'm right-handed. Enjoy an afternoon or evening after work at Paulie's Brick House on Restaurant Row in Jersey City Heights. With your selection of specialized pizzas, you can accompany them with a cold beer or even a cocktail. Open daily from 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. with every other Friday featuring live entertainment. As cool temperatures are upon us, the first thing I think of is soup season and one pot meal. R.L. Schreiber products are the perfect way to start your home style recipes this season. With such a wide selection of concentrated stocks, chili peppers, and flavor-based products, let R.L. Schreiber be the beginning of your end result. Have you ever decided, oh, I need a seasoning and you know that your cupboard is packed with different types of seasons. You might have 20, you might have 30, and you might have 100 different types of season, seasonings depending on how you cook. Well, I have a shortcut for you, okay? But first, I have to have my sip of wine, mm. which is from Domaine del Riviere. It is a Pinot Noir and it is so good. Thank you, Marla. Okay, now, back, my cabinet, where I have some of my seasonings in. I would say just about all of them in, okay? Let's take a look. Bam, look at this. I have plenty of seasonings, plenty of them. However, if you take a closer look, notice it's dark in here. Um, you cannot really see what's going on. If you needed a particular seasoning, let's select this one. Here's some onion powder or some seasons on the side, on either side of here, and you don't have a lot of light in your kitchen, then there could be a little problem, okay? So what I did, I was at one of the stores one day and I saw these little switches they look like a regular on and off light switch and they are working by LED and battery operated. On the reverse side of them, they have a double stick, a double stick tape, okay? So with that, and if the tape isn't good enough after you buy it, you can just add your own. What happens is it's dark and all you do is click and the light comes on. Look at that, it's illuminated, this section. Do the same for this. What a big difference. This is a big kitchen tip. I have up here, now you might not have R.L. Schreiber's seasonings up on the top shelf. I have that and I have some other things, which is the kosher salt. I put one up here. Look at the difference. Isn't that nice? Everything is illuminated for you, okay? Some people, they do have spice um, racks and they're down at the bottom in this um, kitchen here that wasn't built for it but i know that some people you can open it up and spin and it's like a, a daisy wheel in which you can spin but you can also do the same you get the light you probably can get this maybe at amazon or some little discount store in your neighborhood they don't have to be square like this one it could be all types, just as long as it illuminates your cabinet. Now, you notice also, I have these little white shelving, okay? 
these was on that TV show as seen on TV. And I looked on Amazon, I would say about a year ago, and Amazon had them. And I says, oh my goodness, I, I need this. So I ordered one and that worked out. And then after time passed, I was adding more seasoning. I'm the type of person going to the store. I said, do I have that season? No. Then when I get home, I have three of them. However, one day I'll go through and put them all together. After this, another sip of wine. Okay, now these shelves, you put them together and they collapse. They collapse when you first get them. And then you can stretch them. These stretch a little bit farther than this is here. But being that I had so much in here, I decided that I would need another one and I went back and got this. So that's why I have this little space in the center. And you can see I have spices all down deep in there. Okay, so these opened up. You have your spice, I have my spices on top. I have my spices here. When you are finished, click, click, click. And there it is. Another kitchen tip from In the Kitchen with your favorite chef, Renee. This is for you. I'm back, commercial's over with. Okay, commercial is over with. All right, now, the second part of our meal, we are gonna do stuffed tomatoes. Some people do stuffed peppers, I've done the stuffed peppers, but tomatoes, I love tomatoes. And I'm sure some of you do also. So the first part, I washed them really good. I need to cut the tops of these off. And of course, I need a bowl for my scraps. Let's see. Just cut the top. Mm -hmm. Not too much, just a little bit, okay? Cut the top. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now I have a knife like this that I'm going to use um, to clean out the inside of it, and then I'll follow up with a spoon to dig the rest of the filling out, okay? So, as I go like this, around. It's the same method when you're doing um, stuffed peppers. It's the same thing. Okay. And I like this little knife. It's cute. Look at that, came right out. Let's pull this here. I still have a little bit more in there, so I'll just use the spoon to scrape it. Oh yeah, I'm making two. So when you're there at home, you can make as many as you want. Hopefully um, your family likes tomatoes. Okay, see that? Really good, very easy. Let's do the second one. And these stand up. Usually, even when I buy the um, peppers, while I'm in the supermarket, I stand it up on a flat surface because you know, sometimes they fall over. I put them on a flat surface to see if they stand up. If I can't, what I do, I just cut the bottom slightly just so they rebalance and they don't fall over <laughs> while they're baking, hollering, it's too hot in this oven. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that, how easy that was. Let's dig some of this out. Now you can leave as much as you want inside the tomato. That's left up to you, okay? I had a nice little spoon. It was a really tiny one and it had sharp edges on it. And it's good for digging this out because I don't want to break the tomato. And then I'll be screaming and hollering, oh, I broke the tomato, now I gotta do this whole segment over again. And um, it's hot outside. Actually, it's 85 degrees and I'm cooking anyway. Okay, that's enough of that one. Now you take out as much as you want. Put this here. Okay. Another sip of wine. 
Here I go again. I know y'all laughing. Dig over there with that wide. Mmm. So good. All right. Now that we have our tomatoes dug out, as so to speak, the next thing we want to do is start filling. I made some some of this rice, and guess what kind of rice it is? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you. See if you can guess. I told you before. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower rice. It's good. Take the cauliflower, cut up in chunks, put it in the food processor, and just tap it until it has, until it actually sort of looks like this, like grainy, like rice. Okay. So what I'm going to start doing, which I do, you don't have to. I have some, some cheese here, and I like to put that at the bottom of the tomato okay let's see i don't think i'm gonna put two put another one here you can use any type of cheese you want actually later on my finishing cheese at the top is going to be a fresh palm cheese that i bought from andrea sumaria um, on Central Avenue. They are one of my sponsors and I buy their cheese, I buy their sauces. It is so good. Okay, now that I did that, mm, let's see. Oh, I know what I wanna put first. I sauteed, if you can see, some mushrooms, spinach, some sweet peppers. This looks like the yellow, the orange, and the red, and I did that along with some jalapeno pepper. But what I did with the jalapeno, I minced it up. I minced it up. And then I added olive oil, and I did um, Patricia and Paul's chipotle. Because I want a little kick to this. You know, when you eat it, you want to say, ooh, this is good. So that along with the jalapeno pepper is perfect. So what I'm going to do is just put a little. Now this is gonna be sort of overstuffed and that's okay. There's some more. There's some more. Let's get some pepper in there, some mushrooms in there. Now this is what I do. How do I? I take the spoon and I press it so it gets all the way down inside of the tomato. All the way down. Same with this. Press it. Because you know it has a little air pockets. This is coming along really good. Now, the cauliflower rice, I'm gonna take that and just a little bit put it on top. Now you can take the cauliflower rice and you can put it on the inside. You can do that as well. And what'll happen, it's going to absorb the juices. Okay, so I'm gonna press this down. Oh yeah, press this one down. You can put as much as of this as you want. Here we go. Woo, I'm having fun. Even though it's 85 degrees, I'm not feeling it. Maybe because of Mala's wine. <laughs> you know, sometimes when we drink, we get a little hot when the lights are on, but this is, this is really good. Okay, so here we go. Great. All right, now that we have that, I wanna add a little bit more of the spinach with mushroom. Oh yeah. This is so good. Get over here. Mm, mm, mm. Now you don't have to use the spinach and mushroom. Some people don't like mushroom. That's left up to you. Okay, that's definitely left up to you. You can make your own combination to stuff these tomatoes, okay? Or tomatoes, tomato, tomato. How is it called, okay? Yeah, Renee crazy. I'm enjoying myself, I'm having a good time. 
and I hope you are also. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be sensational. I just love stacking it. Let me get a pepper. Some mushroom on there, too. Mm, mm, mm. You need to try and make this. Yeah. And don't forget now, we're still on Comcast every Saturday night on channel, well, Comcast Xfinity, um, every Saturday night from eight to nine on channel 190. In addition to that, we're on Twitch. Yes, on Twitch. Download the app and all you have to do is do a search for Chef Renee Hewitt. And I'm on there on Monday and Wednesday evenings from eight to 9 p.m. And for the next couple of weeks, if you miss some of the shows, I'm going to play them because everybody doesn't have Xfinity and some people don't have the time to go to my website, chefrenewitt.com. So you'll be able to go to Twitch TV, download the app. It's free. Twitch has all different types of videos. They have games, they have movies, etc., etc. And it's an honor to be a part of them now. Okay. Effective immediately. Okay. I think um, I want to throw pepper up on here. Oh my goodness. This is going to be delicious. And let's throw some garlic, piece of garlic on here. And we are set. Very easy. Let's move this out the way. Let's clear this off. Oh yeah. Throw it in the garbage. And I have my roasting pan. Um, what I do, I'm going to put uh, just a little olive oil at the bottom. Even though this has a lot of juice, I just don't want to stick a lot, uh, which happened to me when I ran the test. Okay, it did stick a lot. So you can just take a little olive oil, put it at the bottom of the pan. And um, let me see. Mm. You're going to do Chipotle. Now, let me put this in the pan. Wait, you know what I mean? There we go. Chipotle. And let's move it around in the pan. See that? Take this one. Move this around in the pan. Now, I did mention... Oh, it's sliding all over the place. Oh, that's because the table. Um, I did mention that I'm going to put Parmesan cheese on the top. I suggest that when... Your tomatoes are just about done. You can keep them in there until you see them sort of like wilting a little bit. The top is going to get a little brown. Um, then add the Parmesan cheese because otherwise it's going to burn and you don't want that to happen. I learned that through a test. Now, my tomatoes are ready. All I have to do is put them in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes at 350 degrees or 360 degrees, depending on your oven, and they'll be done. This is really great. There's no meat. It's good for a vegan. I'm sure that they would love this because there's, you know, there's no, no meat in it. It's just perfect. It's perfect. And it's good for an afternoon snack. Okay. So here we go. Let me do a little bit of, this is the Chipotle. Just a little bit on top. Oh my goodness gracious. Woo. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at that. That is simply beautiful and delicious. And I know that you're going to enjoy it. Yes, this is the dish. Okay, great as an appetizer. Or, you know, a vegan, you know, part of the meal. So let me have a little sip of wine. Mmm. And when we come back after this commercial, we are going to make a sangria. Yes, as I mentioned to you before, 
It is the, I think I have it here. It's um, Patricia and Paul. It's a strawberry balsamic vinegar. This is good. Watch how easy it is to make this drink. Great for the summer. You will enjoy it. As a matter of fact, they are the first because we're going to introduce uh, different types of summer drinks in the shows for, throughout the summer. Okay. It is still 85 degrees and I got to run. Okay. We got to pay our bills or they got to pay us or one of those things. All right. Right after this commercial, we'll work on our cocktail. Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere and caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. Enjoy an afternoon or evening after work at Paulie's Brick House on Restaurant Row in Jersey City Heights. With your selection of specialized pizzas, you can accompany them with a cold beer or even a cocktail. Open daily from 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. with every other Friday featuring live entertainment. As cool temperatures are upon us, the first thing I think of is soup season and one pot meal. R.L. Schreiber products are the perfect way to start your home style recipes this season. With such a wide selection of concentrated stocks, chili peppers, and flavor-based products, let R.L. Schreiber be the beginning of your end result. Hi, have you ever baked a chicken, taken it out of the oven, in the aluminum pan and 20 minutes later, 10 minutes later, you can lift the pan up with your fingers because it's so cool. That's because you're using the aluminum pans. I suggest investing in cast iron. These pans will last a lifetime and have been passed down from generation to generation. This I've used to cook a chicken, a small chicken. I spatchcocked it, meaning the chicken was cut open, pushed down on it, and it fit right in here. This one I've used for baked macaroni and cheese and also cornbread. Wonderful, wonderful pan. This one, great for oven roasters. I have a rack that goes on the inside and the veggies around it cooks fantastically. This is the best. This one is good for cooking burgers on it. You get the lines one way, you turn it around, you get the other way. If you don't want the lines, you just turn it over and there's the flat surface that you can also use for burgers. Remember, it keeps the heat. My stove is a five burner. I put it in the center. You don't need a five burner to use this pan, but you can put it on a double and it will do the job. These pans are not expensive. I suggest that you invest in them one 
at a time and you will never go back to those other thin little pans that you have to turn the flame down and it burns your food. Do you? This is a quick kitchen tip from In the Kitchen with Chef Renee Hewitt. Until next time, bye-bye. Hi, I'm back for part three. This is where the cocktail comes in, okay? So, this is a cocktail designed by patriciaandpaul.com using the strawberry balsamic vinegar. Vinegar, this is, this is really good. I think I mentioned before when I heard about using balsamic vinegar in a drink, I was like thrown until I uh, ran a test on it. Like I told you, I tested everything before I show it to you. And I was really surprised. Really, really good. Okay, so let's get started. It's a real simple cocktail, great for serving. You know, on a hot day, etc., etc. You can leave out the brandy if you like, if, if you want your kids to have it. Um, I'm adding a quarter of a cup, depending on you. You can add a half a cup. That's left up to you. Okay, so first I have to have my wine. You know me. Mmm. So good. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing I need to do is cut up the strawberries which have been previously washed. Now this is gonna be a sangria, and you can add whatever you like into your sangria. This is just some of the basics. But, trust me on this, really good. I, I was surprised, and I'm not a big brand drinker, but this was good, it was well worth it. So, the thing is, is have your strawberries. You can add as much as you like. I have five. Let me just do one, one more. That's six um, strawberries, and I'm going to cut them like so. Let's start them here. Cut them again that in half. Or in the winter too. Winter's just as good, right? Alright. So. so like I said, I did six strawberries you can add as many as you like. I'm going to add, let me wipe this off a little. I'm trying to stay neat and clean, even though it's kind of hard for me to do that. Okay, especially. Don't forget, when you're cutting a lime or a lemon, roll it, okay? Just roll it so you can get the juices started, okay? So, I'm just gonna end off like that. I'm gonna cut it like this. Then I'm gonna cut it here, here, just, and wedges. You can add two limes, if you like, that's left up to you again. Okay, now we have the lime. Next, we're going to add some mint to this drink, okay? So I have some fresh mint. Oh, I'm growing some, by the way. I think those who follow me know this. I have it on the windows back there. Um, I'm growing some. My neighbor down the street gave me a cutting but um, it's still on its way. It's only, it's only about that big, but um, they said that it would grow pretty fast. So I'm thanking them. I can't remember their names. We just met. But I do, I really do appreciate them um, giving me some. Uh, whew, gee whiz. Really good. All washed, previously washed. So we're gonna put the mint aside. Okay, 
now I have a peach. So I'm going to take the peach, washed, of course, cut it in half. I knew this was going to be oh. It's going to be a problem. You know, just when you don't need a problem, you got a problem, right? Okay, so I'm going to cut this in wedges. Like I said, it's a sangria, and I know lots of you know how to make sangria, so you can add whatever you like to create your sangria, okay? Let's put this here. Let me move this board somewhere. Okay, now I have my hand pitcher. I found one day at some store. It's kind of cute. sugar ding, ding. then we want a quarter a cup of the brandy and pull the strawberry balsamic vinegar. stir so you could melt the sugar okay so I'm using my handy wooden fork to do this just until you think the sugar has melted Woo, I can I smell the bread <laughs> I smell that brandy. You like carnay? Oh, you're supposed to add this. You're supposed to add that. I didn't drink it from the bottle. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Yeah, you have to go through life laughing. That's a good thing. So, now that we did this, I'm going to put on this towel. I don't want to stain it. Okay, now we have this part. This is a whole bottle. Yeah. I hear thunder. You hear that? Okay. So, next step. Let's mix this so it's all pulled together. And then after this is completed, I should have taken the ice out of the refrigerator. You know I'm good for forgetting something. 
all the time, every show. My cameraman, Laurel, said, Renee, you got everything? Yeah, I got everything. Well, you know, yeah. We're doing this like live. This is at home, okay? All right, so I had my mint washed, of course. Now, you could add as much mint as you like. That's left up to you. After you taste it, you might say, oh, I need a little bit more. I'm just adding a good handful of mint. Let me give that a little stir. No, boy. Yes. All right, I got some peaches. That's going next, so it won't splash all over the place. I got some peaches. Let's add those. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. I think that's enough. I'm adding some lime. There we go. Look how that looks. It's coming along. Now I'm adding some strawberries. Oh, this is really going to be the best to die for, as Deborah says. I should call her up and say, guess what I got some sangria. She's going to say, save me some. I say, okay, it's going to rain. Bring an umbrella. Okay. Now that we have that, now look at this. Oh, that is so beautiful, so rich. Let's move all of this stuff out of the way. So you can see. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Imagine after this sits in the refrigerator and it chills and all of the flavors come out of the the mint and from the strawberries. Then you pour it into a nice glass with some ice, with a cut of the strawberry on the side. You will be ready to throw down. And we're going to do that when we come back. Mmm, another sip. Now, when we come back, we are going to throw down, as I say, on the fish, stuffed tomatoes, and on the side, Patricia and Paul, strawberry balsamic vinegar cocktail with brandy. Like I said, you can add as much brandy as you like. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little ice to this as well. And we'll be good to go. So, here it is, everyone. I want to thank you for coming back and watching the show. Remember, we are on Comcast's Xfinity. That's every Saturday night on channel 190 from 8 to 9 p.m. And now we are on... Mm, 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 mm. I, oh, my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the wind, the noise, it just grabbed me for, you know, grabbed me for a second. Okay, so don't forget to tune in every Saturday night on Xfinity, okay? Until next time, thank you for coming back to In the Kitchen with your favorite chef, Renee. See you in a minute. Bye.
Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere and caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. Enjoy an afternoon or evening after work at Paulie's Brick House on Restaurant Row in Jersey City Heights. With your selection of specialized pizzas, you can accompany them with a cold beer or even a cocktail. Open daily from 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. with every other Friday featuring live entertainment. As cool temperatures are upon us, the first thing I think of is soup season and one pot meal. R.L. Schreiber products are the perfect way to start your home style recipes this season. With such a wide selection of concentrated stocks, chili peppers, and flavor-based products, let R.L. Schreiber be the beginning of your end result. <laughs> 